Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're looking at some very bloody gauntlets. They are called Blood Fist Heavy Gauntlets. And the Blood Fist Heavy Gauntlets are actually really, really good for level 9. And they actually maintain their kind of uh, amazingness even far past level 9 because of one particular statistic. And we'll talk about that. Um, at at first glance, these gloves have 18 defense. Uh, they are level 9 requirement with no strength. And uh, they have a bonus of plus 10% increased attack speed, which is pretty nice for any lower level character to have a bonus to their attack speed early on. Uh, we got 30% faster hit recovery on these bad boys, which is huge. And for a lot of characters, especially sorceresses, believe it or not, these gloves are actually a very, very good choice early game. And the reason is, is because sorceresses have one of the worst faster recovery rates in the game. And, uh, and it is very difficult for sorceresses to uh, get out of a faster hit recovery block loop. So early on, as a level 9 character, these gloves can be absolutely essential to keeping your caster classes alive. Because, you know, if you get stuck in a faster hit recovery loop, well, you're screwed. Uh, we also have plus 5 to minimum damage, which is actually huge. So a lot of people don't realize, but my, minimum damage is, like, ridiculous. And when you add minimum damage to a character, um, you will get a rather large bonus to the point where you can just literally punch things to death. If you look at my character here, um, let me just go ahead and switch to a regular attack. You notice how I have 3 to 6 damage on my punch, and when I put these gloves on, I go to 18 to 19. 18 to 19 is literally enough at level 9. You can, like, punch things to death. Uh, these gloves give you enough extra damage that you can literally just punch stuff. Uh, we also have a 20% enhanced defense on these, as well as plus 10 defense and 40 to life, which is massive at level 9. Uh, this is like a ridiculous amount of life for a level 9 character. And, uh, and, and these gloves are honestly a great pair of gloves to keep around for leveling up lower level characters. Um, they are probably one of the best pair of gloves at level 9 that you could possibly put on a character, like pretty much bar none. Um, especially if you are a caster type who really needs faster hit recovery. 30% faster hit recovery is a butt ton. So the only variable on these gloves is the 20% enhanced defense, which does vary between 10 to 20. So if you find a 20% pair of Blood Fist gauntlets, they are perfect, which is pretty cool. Um, now we can upgrade these, and uh, to upgrade these we are going to need a Shale Rune, and we are going to need a Tal Rune, and we are going to need a Perfect Diamond. Um, and that is going to upgrade these to one higher tier. Now of course they have no Strength requirement at the moment, and they also have no stat requirement, but they are level 9. And when we upgrade them, they are going to go to a strength requirement of 20 and a level requirement of 30. So quite a big upgrade there, but the defense did go up quite a bit to level four, to 49, which is not bad. Um, and we can upgrade these another time for one more bonus to its defense. Uh, now to do that, we are going to need a uh, Lem Rune and a Ko Rune and another perfect diamond. And uh, this is going to take us from the level 30 requirement with 20 strength and 49 defense to 79 defense, 50 strength, and level 59. And honestly, it's not even really that bad of an upgrade. Um, if you're a character who specifically needs faster hit recovery um, and 30% uh, and is a lot, these gloves could be absolutely excellent for you. They also have increased to attack speed. They also have the plus five mint damage and the bonus to life on them. And uh, and honestly, I didn't see anything wrong with any of those tier upgrades. So if you're still using Blood Fist Heavy Gauntlets at level 30, you could definitely consider upgrading them one tier. And if you were still using Blood Fist Heavy Gauntlets when you were a higher level, maybe, maybe you just haven't found anything better, or maybe you just really want to make sure that your character doesn't get stuck in faster hit recovery loops, you could upgrade them again, and you could get the uh, 79 defense on these. And, uh, you know, all in all, they're actually pretty solid gauntlets. Are there better choices? Well, yeah. Um, if you were a sorceress, you might be leaning more toward Mage Fist at some point. Um, if you're a, a, you know, a paladin or a, a, a necromancer or any of these other characters, there are better options for you. But maybe you haven't found those yet. Um, and, uh, and this is still a very solid option for a lot of characters. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with a pair of Blood Fists. Um, you gain 30% faster hit recovery, you gain a decent amount of life, and if you're a melee character, you gain plus 5 to min and 10% increased attack speed. It's actually pretty darn sweet. 
So uh, I actually usually try to keep a pair of Blood Fists around for just about every kind of uh, low-level character that I like to build on. And um, at level 9, they're probably one of the best pair of gauntlets that you could put on, uh, pretty much bar none. Um, unless you're looking for a very specific effect, like for instance maybe Mana Steel, in which case you might be looking at Hand of Brocks. Uh, let's take a look and see where you can find a pair of uh, Blood Fist Heavy Gauntlets, shall we? Um, they are relatively low level, so they're probably going to drop from just about everywhere. But the last, but at least we can do is we can take a look and see um, what kind of zones, uh, very specifically, um, they may have the highest percent chance of dropping in, right? Uh, so let's go to uh, the bees. Blood Fist, and we're going to pretend we have about 150% magic find, and we're going to look at bosses first. So we have a 1 in 83 chance of dropping from normal and Dariel. A uh, very, very good chance there. That's actually pretty sweet. And a 1 in, uh, in 212 from a quest kill on Mephisto. Um, and then on a non-quest kill on Mephisto, 1 in 319. That's a very interesting. Uh, normal Diablo has 1 in 348. So as you can see, in normal difficulty, quite a large number of monsters can drop this item. And it will be fairly common. Uh, super Uniques, it looks like the Cow King in normal. Uh, Bone Ash in the Cathedral. And uh, Creeping Feature in uh, Stony Tomb Level 2. But I'm lo what I'm looking at right now is uh, I see that bone ash in the cathedral who is a super unique who is always there has a very good chance of one in 648 to drop this item so if you are looking for these very specifically uh, bone ash and normal difficulty would be your farming choice i would say that's a, that is a really good choice you could make game after game and you could go kill bone ash over and over again and uh, he would eventually drop these items for you um, and then we can of course we can look at regular monsters and um Really high probability in Catacombs, looks like. Maggot Lair, uh, Far Oasis, Claw Viper Temple, Halls of the Dead. Uh, very interesting there. Stony Tomb, Sewers Level 1 and 2. So uh, a lot of uh, Act 2 zones. Very high probability of Act 2 zones. And later on in Act 1, so like Catacombs Level 3 and 4 there. So very interesting. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. Um, even when they are about a low-level item, like the... Blood Fist Vampire Bone Gauntlets. I'm kidding. The Blood Fist Heavy Gauntlets. But, uh, but you know, that is what you get when you upgrade them to the max. And as always, keep watching.